Inside this video right here, I'm going to answer your questions about going from EMT to paramedic if you have little to no experience. Let's talk about it. I want to help decrease failure rates for NREMT, for EMT school, for paramedic school. Watch these videos, watch this content, and believe me, you will start to understand EMS medicine. Anybody out there that wants to serve their community as an EMT or a paramedic should be able to do that. And I'm here as a paramedic coach to help you achieve that. Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Paramedic Coach here, back at you with another video. And if you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click that notification bell. Every single week, I put out multiple videos on everything about EMS from EMT all the way to paramedic. And if you are watching this video right now, be sure to smack that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm helps me out and thanks for tuning in. Now, in today's video, what we're gonna be talking about is if you are someone who wants to go from EMT to paramedic and what my advice on this topic is. So, if you see me sitting down like this, we're doing a video based on your frequently asked questions. So this is the uh, first one we're doing, so here it is. Today's question is, if you're an EMT out there and you are trying to figure out, is it the best time to go to paramedic school? You know, I have so many EMTs out there that maybe they're just graduating and they want to become a paramedic, but a lot of people are telling them, hey, like, don't do it. Don't go for, they call it zero to hero, right? Don't go from EMT to paramedic with no experience. Well, let's talk about the first thing here. Now, the first thing is this. If you didn't know this, okay, listen to this. You have to apply to paramedic school. They have to let you in. You have to pass an entry exam. And number two, usually you need a certain amount of hours as well to actually get in. So you cannot have just no experience and get into paramedic school. That is very, very unlikely, okay? Now, now we've gotten out of the way. What do I recommend that you do if you've just got done with EMT and you know you don't want to be an EMT for that long, your eye is on the paramedic role. Here's what I recommend that you do. Number one, don't waste time. So in that gap, you're going to get experience as an EMT while you're in paramedic school. See, here's the thing. Even the shortest paramedic program is about 12 months long. So what that means is you're gonna have at least 12 months, probably it's gonna be more like 14 to 18 months, and in some programs are two years or longer for paramedic school. So you're gonna have plenty of time to get EMT experience. Now here's the experience that you need. You cannot be worrying about EMS operations, like how to do a radio patch, doing a basic assessment, you know, where the stuff is in the ambulance, so on and so forth. Uh, trying to understand the different types of hospitals when you're trying to take care of the patient as a lead paramedic. See, by the time you get to your ride time near the end of paramedic school, all of that, you should know all that. See, but that's the experience you gain as an EMT. The EMS operations, the operations of a call, you know, the, the basic skills of the ambulance, lifting and moving patients, stair chair operations, um, you know, which patients go to which hospitals, how to radio patch, stuff like that. That's the stuff you learn as an EMT, doing your basic assessments, seeing different patient scenarios, dealing with the public for the first time. See, as a paramedic, your main goal is to treat the patient, right? And as an EMT, you're looking at the whole scene, right? So if you're an EMT and paramedic partner, your EMT is looking out for everybody, while as a paramedic, you're solely focused on the patient. And that's that partnership and teamwork that I believe works so well in EMS, right? Now here's the deal. I'd like you, if you are somebody right now who just graduated as an EMT, I want you to apply to jobs like crazy. 
indeed.com, right? Uh, look in different uh, EMS groups online, could be Facebook groups, right? Um, look at different uh, Instagram pages that have to do with EMS as well. Um, different job boards with EMS as well. Check all those out and apply. But I don't want you to rely just on that. What I'd like you to do is get volunteer EMS experience. So like I talked about earlier on, most paramedic schools or colleges are not going to accept you unless you have some sort of EMS call experience, whether an EMT or advanced EMT or whatever it is, right? So if you don't have that experience, then you may not be able to get into paramedic school, right? Now here's the deal, guys, that I want to talk to you about. This is my story. And I was just like you watching this video right now. If you click on this video, you were me. Here's my story. And here's why I'm going to recommend what I'm about to recommend to you. I recommend that you go, obviously, and get out there. Look for an IFT job. Look for an IR1 job. But guess what? It took me over nine months to get my first EMT job. Okay? Now, this is back in... 2012, uh, 2011, I graduated EMT school. I got my national registry. Nine months later in 2012, I finally get my first EMT job working at a private ambulance service, okay? Now, guess what I also did right before I got the job? I started paramedic school. And people thought I was crazy, you know? I only had several months of experience uh, when I first started paramedic school. I was only 20 years old. Um, and like you, uh, people were saying I was crazy. Uh, people were saying that, oh, you don't have enough experience. And guess what? I ended up top of my class when I was in paramedic school. And how did I do that? What I recommend to you here. And this was the first moment when the paramedic coach strategy, everything that I preach started to click into my head. And let me explain this to you. I went into paramedic school just like you with not a lot of experience. But what did I bring that others did not? Drive, motivation, hyper focus. My friends, I was obsessed with what I was doing. I would record the lectures of my instructor. And thankfully, I had an amazing instructor Shout out to Mr. Talbert when I went to paramedic school, okay? Number two, what else did I have? Well, I was recording the lectures, but I also was sitting in the front row. I was legitimately hyper-focused on one task. I wasn't worried about anything else in my life at the time except paramedic school. And that was the difference maker, and that's how people that were advanced EMTs People that were longtime EMTs had so much more experience than I did, ended up failing out first semester. And when I looked back on starting the paramedic coach, this is what I talk about all the time. You know what I did? When people were saying, like they say to you right now, that, oh, you can't do it, you're not going to make it. I was in the bunk room of the volunteer ambulance in the base, and guess what I was doing? I was pre-game studying on YouTube in 2012. Now there wasn't a lot of content out there, but I scrambled, scrambled up, you know, uh, a few different videos that I could find on YouTube to try to get some sort of awareness of what was going on, and. Thankfully, that awareness level that I try to give to you with my program, I'll link it in the description down below, so you've got to search over the internet for random videos or outdated videos like I did. It's all in one place. You just follow the steps like A, B, C, and there you go. That's what I want to give to you with my program, all right? So this is what I recommend that you do if you're somebody out there and you're trying to get ready for paramedic school. Do what I did. Be driven, be motivated, sit in the front row, record your lectures. And what else do I recommend? I recommend you prep before you go in. Because the other people in your class, 
They're going to think they're going to just another school. But my friend, this is not just another school. This is one of the most accelerated schools that you'll ever encounter. Paramedic school happened fast. Very, very fast. So you got to be ready for it. On a Tuesday, you could be going over EKGs for the first time. And then on Thursday, you're getting a test on it. You just saw it on Tuesday. And then guess what? You have another test come up on Friday. And it keeps coming, coming, going, going, going. And all of a sudden, you're behind. I never got behind because in school, when they were showing me a fib on the, on the you know on the slideshow or the slide deck, whatever you want to call it, I already had an awareness level of it because I prepped before I went in. I didn't know it exactly cold because you know I was looking around on YouTube trying to figure things out, but I had an idea about it. So what I want to do for you is do even better, prep even better than I did. And that's what you can do with my prep course in the description down below. I've put together an entire section of my program. It's called Paramedic School Prep. There's paramedic, on the job, clinical, hands-on, tips. I have an entire section. I call it the accelerator of paramedic school, which also preps you for national registry. I have all the EMS drug cards in another section. I have prescription medicines you need to know in another section right that's all the paramedic prep and yes the program was over EMT advanced EMT paramedic but we're talking about paramedic school right now that's what you got to do my friends trust me on this if you go to the description down below you get the course you get the program you're going to be absolutely more prepared than I was literally but more than prepared you're going to be excelling through paramedic school so my friends, I leave you with this. Never let anybody tell you that you cannot achieve your dream. Because you can. You know why? Because I have. I've bridged the way for you. But you have to follow my advice. And remember the most important point here. If you go into paramedic school with very little experience, and you're not driven, and you're not motivated, you're not obsessed, you're not hyper-focused on your craft, you're not sitting in the front row, you're not recording your lectures, you don't take action on the prep course in the description, then those people that are saying to you right now that you can't do it, they'll be right. Because they're talking about those other people I'm talking about us, and I'm talking about you. So, my friend, if you're ready to take this journey, and you're ready to get to the next step in your career, go down below, click the link in the description, and I really hope that you enjoyed this one-on-one -on -one, uh, YouTube chat here with me, the Paramedic Coach. Kept, oh, like everything that you were saying was just connecting all these all these you know links inside my brain and i i just knew right then and there um i have to have this program i have to have all the information that he's willing to give i need all of it i went through it i i spent the time and money in other areas and i'm, I'm just gonna let you guys know that uh this was everything i was searching for the whole time the first couple of videos i watched um when i noticed it, it just i i just immediately started connecting dots um, on some of these things I, I didn't have grasped. Went on there that I continued reviewing and I did it for about a month and you know, it, it helped a lot. Like I said, even after school and I took that test one time and I passed it. Your particular program, you have your students engaging and you have your students discussing and you have your students actually using your products. And I'm seeing time and time again, um, students that are coming in and announcing their new certification with national registry Olds obviously passing the exam doing it pretty quickly 70 questions in about an hour um well you definitely are like how your videos are like i wasn't sure how it was gonna be but you are how you, your videos are so that was awesome so people who are getting ready for paramedic school or if you're getting ready to go in the navy as a corpsman or as an army medic um you got to prepare yourself. Evan, I know you got a program that helps people prepare that way. So bottom line is, guys, 
you don't ever want to hear something for the first time with a bunch of other students. So if you're in a competitive learning environment, you don't want to hear about AFib for the first time where everybody else, you want to have an understanding of it before you walk in the room. From 120 questions, passing two sections, um, near passing one, and then I think two below passing to 70 questions passing completely. $7,000 for school plus everything else that you put into it all the time and all the time off work and family and everything. It's to see people fail and fail and fail and then just quit, which I know a couple of people who have. I tend to say, you know, it doesn't hurt to have somebody right there to talk to, you know, send a question. Anytime I get the chance, I, I will gladly offer or advise them to sign up for you and your paramedic coach. It's, it's truly helpful and amazing at what you do. I want to help decrease failure rates for NREMT, for EMT school, for paramedic school. Watch these videos, watch this content, and believe me, you will start to understand EMS medicine. Anybody out there that wants to serve their community as an EMT or a paramedic should be able to do that. And I'm here as a paramedic coach to help you achieve that.